Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Tisha here for another Say With Me Now. Say Oops. <laughs> I did not mean to snort. I am going to be all over the place this afternoon, this evening, because it's, yeah, it's evening. I'm going to be all over the place this evening because I don't have notes. I literally started doing a little bit of bullets and I was supposed to do something for this. And then I was like, I don't have time, but I want to make sure that I talk about this because it is something that bothered me, right? So... I got a question for you all. And I know one thing about the fam is you guys are gonna tell me the truth and you're gonna let me know if I'm wrong, if you disagree, if there's a difference of opinion. And I love that about us. I love how we do that in a respectful manner, right? So here's my question. And I want you to put it down in the comment section. For those of you who don't normally comment, I want you to even just say a yes or a no. No explanations needed. Was Cody going to come to that wedding without even having that discussion with the bride and groom? Yes or no? Put it down below. Because my belief is that he was. I think that Cody and his bird made this about them and it didn't need to be. I don't want to be there with people looking at me, but not talking to me. By people, what people exactly is he talking about? Are you talking about, I don't want to be there with my kids looking at me? Say it with your chest. Be a man. Stop being like the bird where you speak indirectly and tell us the facts of the matter, which is that you are afraid of what will happen to your ego when you see your kids there and they don't speak. Because contrary to the belief of the feather people, this wedding that was Logan's and Michelle's did not have anything to do with them. And I got to be honest, I got to be real. I'm bothered by the fact that all of the adults, especially Cody, made this about them. Because seeing the little bit that we've seen, seeing the personal footage that was taken, it bothers me that that type of energy was brought to those people's nuptials. And I hope that they weren't as tense off camera as they were on camera when talking about it, okay? Um, in my opinion, let me go back to this article. Um, I think maybe I better not come. You actually picked up the phone and called your son and told him that you may not come to the wedding because people don't like you. You actually felt that that was a good idea to tell the son who for many years of his life sacrificed his childhood by taking care of his other siblings, by waking up earlier in the morning to feed them and to make sure they were ready when you and Janelle were already out of the home. You really picked up the phone to talk to the son that throughout all of this has remained neutral, who hasn't taken sides, who hasn't stopped talking to you. You really picked up the phone to talk to that son and tell that son about this, about how Christine and his mom are still speaking badly and negatively about him when he's doing the same thing. And let's be clear, Christine isn't perfect. She's done her stuff. She said her things. But at this point, this has been two years of a constantly angry Cody. Constantly. This wedding is October 22. Why is he still so mad? 
Christine is not showing nearly as much anger towards Cody when in my opinion, she has every right to be angry as she wants to be based on the betrayal that she's received from the bald eagle and his bird. I know she likes to, the, the, the bald eagle, his boo thing likes to act like everything is on Christine and Christine's the one that betrayed her, but really she betrayed Christine. Everything that Cody says about Christine at this point is negative. He has not been able to be cordial at any point of the episode when talking about her. He blames her for everything. That everything that has gone wrong is on her or one of the other wives. I wish that he would sit back and really take a look at these episodes and see it for what it is, which is that he and his bird are the problem. Now, I don't know why TLC chose not to include Logan and Michelle's name in this. Michelle even put out something because she was getting so many DMs saying that she never said, nor did Logan, that they couldn't mention her name. She just said she didn't want the cameras there. And I can appreciate them not wanting to make a skeptical of their wedding because the parents already did. I personally could not imagine having that many people in my family upset with me and not taking a step to try to figure out how to navigate this and not being in la la land like Cody because what did he say he hopes over time that phone calls could be made and with enough time that the situation will rectify himself what he's really hoping is that with enough time his kids will come and kiss the ring because Cody doesn't think that he's done anything wrong and Cody sitting there acting this way and causing all this unnecessary confusion about whether or not he and his bird are gonna come it just further shows what a piece of sugar honey iced tea that he is because his ego is just like this you sitting there calling logan i don't know whether or not i'm gonna come is yet another another what am i trying to say this is why i need notes it's you being manipulative because your ego wants him to beg you to come. But notice, Cody, he didn't ask you to be a groomsman. He didn't ask you to stand up there at the altar and be a best man. He didn't even ask you to sit in the front of the audience. He just asked you to come. And yet you're making it seem like your presence is that vital. I wouldn't be surprised if he wanted to make sure you came just so he wouldn't have an issue with you later because Logan is trying to be there for his family. Next, Bird. You have so much to say about how you want the family to be back together and you want to sit back on the porch. Want to sit back on the porch with, you know, my, my, my sister wives and our grandkids. And you can't even facilitate an interaction that is positive between Cody and his kids. This wedding, when Gabe came up to you and said, I love you, and you said, I love you back, would have been a perfect start. But I doubt that anything else came of it. Because notice she said, Gabe came up to me and hugged me. Why is it that Everybody always has to come to her. Why does she never get off her stoop and come to anybody else? You're the mother. Act like one. Be a mother. Be a mother. Because it's not making sense. Cody, people were trying to act like they were having, you know, more fun than they really are, were. They weren't acting. They are having fun. But Cody needs the, 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 the spotlight to be on him. And Cody, for whatever reason, maybe because he spends majority of his time doing this, thinks that Christine and Mary and Janelle spend all their time thinking about him when they don't. Look at those women. Look at how much better they look now that they left Cody on, on his little perch with his bird. Look at how much better they look. They're aging backwards. Meanwhile, Robin, she looks stressed out. 
She's stressed. And just because Cody may have added some extensions in there doesn't mean he's not still molting. Cody's saying, I inserted myself as best as I could into the fun. Please let me see what him inserting himself looks like. Is it a bunch of people dancing and then him coming around trying to dance too? While Robin just sits there watching, looking like somebody slapped her across the face? <sighs> okay, let me see. Do I have any other points that I want to talk about? This is why I should point some stuff. Um... I just, I, I didn't like it, y'all. I, I, I didn't like it at all. I feel like they really did make it about them. And the fact that they made it about them really bothered me. I don't think it was fair to the couple. I don't understand how they can sit there and be okay with it. You all, though... Tell me what you think. Sorry, this was like this. Next time I need to make sure. Let me let me go back to this article and make sure I didn't miss anything else that I wanted to talk about. Uh, Robin and I were put over in the corner, probably for our safety. I mean, what did you think was going to happen? You've had multiple interactions. at Well, not interactions. Multiple engagements where you've seen Christine and she's avoided you like the plague. So what do you think was going to happen? He said it like it was a joke, but I don't think he was joking. I think that a part of him and the bird think that those kids would be willing to, I don't know, confront him when at this point, I don't think they care as much. I don't. I hope that the wedding wasn't too awkward. I'm sorry this was, you know, short and sweet. But go ahead and let me know your thoughts down below. If I come to you guys with another one, I'll do better next time. Until next time.